Hey guys, super got the final word here, and I'm back for another video this time. We're going to be doing another why I ship video this time. I'm going to be explaining why I ship Aaron and Historia. Now, if you guys remember way back then, back somewhere in 2019, I made a series called The Godzilla Family. Now, The Godzilla Family featured Aaron X Historia. Probably because I was a fan of this shit. And I just didn't find Aaron X Mikasa a fan of. Well, that was until like somewhere in between 2020 and 2021 when I started to become a fan of this shit. I'm not 100% sure. But you get my point. Anyway, I became a fan of the ship because I watched one of the episodes of Season 3, Part 1. It was an epic moment where Historia saved Aaron. And when that happened, I started to immediately ship these two. I found this ship very interesting, cute, and kind of romantic. And then I kind of wanted to do a series that featured these two love birds. And that's where the Godzilla family, the original Godzilla family, was born. But unfortunately, you all know how that series turned out, so, yeah. But can I point out that how overprotective Eren is of Historia? Like, people say that Misa's overprotective of Eren. But look back at this. Aaron is freaking overprotective of the freaking Historia. For starters, he snapped at Reiner when he was talking dirty about Historia. And you can see on the look in his eyes, he snapped. I might say that's the concern of a friend, but look at the rage in his eyes and the tone of his voice. You can hear on how angry he sounded. It almost sounded like he was protecting her because she belonged to him. Because Historia was his girl. And then let's point out the fact that Aaron snapped in one of the episodes of season four. Like, yeah, season four. Season 4, yeah, I can't speak, sorry. Season 4, Part 1, he snapped and protected Historia. And then we have one of the episodes of Season 4, Part 2, Episode 28. Aaron having a conversation with Historia, saying that he won't allow her and her children to become Titans eat one another. For some odd reason, people ship these two more than Aaron and Misa. How? How in the world is that possible? Well, ever since I found that out, I found that there was like a lot more fan art on freaking Google. I was like, how in the world is that? How did this happen. It's like, it's like Aaron X, his story is becoming just as popular as Hake Elsa. I just don't understand this. How are these shits becoming so popular? It's just a blink of the eye and not just that. They are just so... I can't believe I said this, but weird. It's not this couple well, that's the weird part. The weird part is this, on how much these people ship these couple. But they even wish that this was like a canon thing. 
and started making like cute little fan animation of these couples together. And if you can look back at it, at season four, part two, or season four, episode twenty-eight, you can see something that is very familiar of Aaron's look on his face. That's the same look that Mikasa has on her face all the time. Literally. You could grab Mikasa's face and put it right next to Aaron's face at episode 48 and you could see my freaking point. Aaron is literally the guy version of Mikasa. Literally. How insane and weird is that? That Erin, that Mixa always has that look on her face. All the frickin' time. All the frickin' time. She always had that look on her face. But to see it on Erin's face, that's a big changer. That's more like, like switching... This is like having, like, like freaking Destroya appear in Godzilla vs. Kong instead of Mecha Godzilla. Even though we got a few screenshots of Mecha Godzilla and a few screen time with him. And some fair screen time with him. But it turns out that Destroya becomes the main villain in Godzilla vs. Kong. And you might not believe me, folks, but you can, if you want, you can look back at one of the episodes of season four, or just go to episode 28 and skip to the moment where you see Aaron having this conversation with Historia. And you can clearly look on his face that he has the exact same look that Mikasa gives him all the time. Only rarely does Aaron smile at Historia. The same goes for Mikasa. Only rarely when Mikasa smiles at Aaron. That confirms it. Aaron has a crush on Historia. Not only that, he's also protective of her the same way on how Mixa is protective of him. If you, if, like, so it's like a fan animation where Mixa's talking to Aaron, or not, Aaron, where Mixa's talking to Historia, and Aaron gives her that dead stare. He gives Mixa that dead look in his eyes, and Mixa actually gets scared and intimidated, and actually freaking backs off. That's a sign saying, like, hey, touch my girl and I swear I will turn into a titan I will crush your ribs break your legs break your arms and I'll break your back and then I'll swallow you whole quite literally so I'll give you 10 seconds to back up you can talk to her from a distance but close to her that's a different story that's basically what Aaron's like now like, and people even started guessing that Aaron is the father of Historia's child. If, if the director of Attack on Titan wanted to go that route and have Aaron to be the father of Historia's child, no, to have Historia to be, his, to be Aaron's freaking wife, then Aaron's legacy will not truly die. But that way, Aaron gets to have a legacy after his death. And Mitsu would never know until his story reveals that she actually did it with Aaron and the child 
is Aaron's child. The father is Aaron Yeager. And I can just imagine the look on freaking Misa, John, Connie, Sasha. Well, then again, Sasha died. But then again, if this was an alternate ending of Attack on Titan, then, yeah. Anyway, like Misa, Armin, John, Connie, Sasha, Levi, and freaking Hanji. I can just imagine their faces just like, where did Eric did this? Miko just freaking passed out, asked someone to kill her because Aaron rejected her. Aaron rejected her. And it chose someone else. But then again, if you look back at it, it's technically Mita's fault. She gave Aaron the wrong answer. She said family. She sees Aaron as family. So, with Anna Way, Mikasa, you kind of had that coming. If you gave Aaron a different answer, I'm pretty sure he would have chosen you. So, you have no one to blame but yourself. So, that's the reason why I ship Aaron and Historia. I like this ship, and somehow, just like Kid Elsa, this ship somehow very somehow became very popular. So I hope you guys stay tuned for my next fan ship. Well, not my fan. But the next ship that I will be talking about, that is Aaron X Titan Shifter X Titan Shifter. See you guys then.